Hey there. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, how to set up your Tomos A3 so that you can use Tomos A35 kits and Pook kits. Um, it's pretty straightforward and simple. Um, here's a Tomos A3 crank, and you can see there is a bushing in here. And so these the the A3 takes a 10 millimeter wrist pin on its piston. Uh, A35 Pook is 12 and so here's an A35 crank and some people will say oh it's easy you just put an A35 crank in your A3 and it's not that easy here's why the uh, see this end this is where the uh, clutches hook up to it um, so here's the A3 and here's the A35 you can tell they're totally different so you can see these two guys are, are kind of different and um, you'll end up, you'd have to put the 835 clutches on there, the intermediary gears are diff different, so I don't know, you'd end up basically just rebuilding an 835, so uh, this way is much simpler. So you guys that have done uh, motor bikane, uh motor mounts and stuff before, this is going to seem really familiar. But basically what we're going to do is I've got a little 8mm socket and a 15mm socket. It doesn't really have to be 15 or whatever, or it doesn't really have to be 8, but the gist of it is this one I want big enough so that that bushing will slide inside it when I push it through. This guy needs to be skinny enough so that it sits on the bushing um, but doesn't catch on the edge of the connecting rod so and then I'm gonna put the C clamp around it um, and just crank it down and push it through so in the reasoning behind using this and this some people just use this little guy I just I want to put even pressure on the connecting rod so I'm not tweaking it and stuff like that so uh, I'm gonna quick do that and I'll show you the results I just kinda started doing this and uh, here's a little pro tip um, if your C-clamp has one of these pivoty ends on it, put that over the, the big socket. It's a lot easier to uh, line up. So, without further ado. So that was relatively easy. It uh, came right out. And uh, here's that bushing. And uh, so now what you want to do is you want to press in a, uh, a brass bushing off a pook and then you'll be able to run kits that use a 12 millimeter uh, wrist pin. Uh, it's not big enough to run a roller bearing so here I've got uh, 12 by 15 by 15 dealy bob so yeah too small and you don't really want to ream this out if you want to uh, run a roller bearing or a needle bearing whatever uh, best bets to press out your connecting rod and have a new one pressed in. Um, yeah, so that's that. I don't have a bushing in. I, I don't have a pook bushing laying around right now, so I don't have anything to show you. But but that's that's it. Bye.